Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to SE Lifestyle. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called SE Lifestyle. And it is all about creating the lifestyle that you love. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So this is the start of a new video. And in this video, I will be undecorating my room. I think I shared with you guys a few vlogs back that I just wanted to remove most of the decor in my room and I just want it to be a comfortable functional space. So the first step in doing that is me removing this bookshelf that is mounted to the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the bookshelf and make some other changes in my room. So if you are interested in me undecorating my room, then keep watching. Take me off the market. Take me off the map. I'm trying to hit the coach and tell them it's all I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay. Remember okay. that. You didn't come this far just to come this far. Yep. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> I don't really know how to confess my love. Really saying like I want to test my love. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So one of the ways that I'm planning to undecorate my bedroom is with some new linen. So I do have some new linen that I want to share with you guys. This is from Brooke Linen. So what I chose for my new linen is actually the Lux Hardcore Bundle. And I chose it in the color white. I absolutely love <laughs> white sheets. Um, I just think that it adds like a luxe feeling to your bed. So the Lux comes with um, a set of pillowcases and my bed is a king. So I chose the white and it also comes with a core sheet set. And in this sheet set, we have a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, two and two pillowcases so this is actually an extra set of pillowcases and it also comes in a duvet cover and it is also in white so i'm just going to open this up so you guys can kind of get a closer look of my new bedding i'm so excited okay lifestyle lovers let's go ahead and get this sheet set open just to tell you a little bit about brook linen lifestyle lovers brook linen is a luxury sheets company so they basically create high quality home goods for your home and if you have been consistently watching my channel you know that i am all about my home so this is like the extra extra set of pillowcases the material is soft and this particular material is known to get softer as you wash it so the first thing that we're going to do is get our linen all washed up before we put it on our bed And one of the important things to know about these sheets, Lifestyle Lovers, is they will last a long time. So you definitely want to invest in quality sheets for your bed. I don't know about you, but I spend a whole lot of time in my bed. That's one of the reasons I decided to undecorate my bed because I just want it to be a comfortable experience. Um, I don't think home decor is necessarily needed in the bedroom unless it's minimal. I really want to focus on comfort. And I chose white because I'm going basically for a neutral look. I do want to add a little bit of color, but for the most part, I want my bedding to have a neutral look. But Brook Linen has over 20 colors to choose from. So if you don't want a neutral look, if you want to go, you know, for some stripes or you want to add some color to your bedding, they definitely have some options for you as well. 
And also, if you decide to purchase it in the bundle, you also save an additional 25% off. If you don't want to buy everything single, you can just purchase it in a bundle. And these particular sheets have a 480 thread count and they have like a slightly sateen finish. I know you can't tell, but if you kind of can see up in the camera, very, very soft. So let's go ahead and get these washed up so we can make our bed. So it's pretty much the top of the morning. I've made my bed for today and I had such a good night's sleep last night on my new Brooklinen bedding. It was so comfortable and I just kind of decided to keep it clean. As you can see, I do have like some um, accent pillows, but I, I like the clean white look. So I decided not to add my accent pillows back, but I had such a comfortable night's sleep. And I just want to let you guys know that right now, Brooklinen is having their staycation sale. So you receive 15% off all of Brooklinen items. So if you're currently on vacation or you're just coming back from vacation and you want to keep that same vibe going, be sure to click the link in the description box so you can save 15% off on all Brooklinen items. And also, lifestyle lovers, I was able to get my duvet super, super plush by just using two duvet inserts. So I just recently purchased a new duvet insert and then I used the one that I had prior. So that just kind of makes your duvet a little bit just more plush, like more like a comforter. And also, I think I told you guys earlier that um, that my bed was a king before my duvet cover I went 
with the California King, which kind of makes it a little bit oversized. That way it'll fall a little longer on the side, sides of the bed. Um, Cause I just prefer that look. It's just like a cleaner look. And I want to give a special thanks to Brooklyn for sponsoring this video because I'm loving my new bedding as you can see okay lifestyle lovers so i just wanted to kind of show you what my undecorated bedroom looks like so far so basically i removed everything off of my dresser so this is basically what i have left i have these three books these two books which i think i'm going to keep these there and then i have this bowl this is from z gallery so this is pretty much how my dresser looks. So up here, I just have some Dior lip gloss, which is what I have on now. Um, I have the Joe Malone Peony and Blush. This is a very light type of scent that you can wear to bed. So that is why that is there. I have the Peony and Blush body cream. And then I also have the Joe Malone Lavender and Moonflower Pillow Mist. So I'm just going to keep this very simple. And if I wanted to kind of, you know, add some smell good to my nighttime routine, which I don't do every night, then I have my items here. I have some marble coasters here. I think I purchased these from Marshalls. So just like a black marble. And when I have my coffee or I have something to drink, I typically just have a coaster. So I won't mess up my dresser because it already looks like it has some something there that i can't get out i don't know what that is but um i may end up giving this dresser to mookie and getting me a new one this is from american signature by the way and i just kind of refinished the handles um in gold because they were actually silver and then i have like a candle this is a dossier Flora marshmallow candle up here, which is burned very unevenly, but I have that there. And then this bowl from Z Gallery in the corner. I just kind of took my mirror that I had catacornered and I placed it flat against the wall. So I think I like it better here. It just, since I don't have the shelf here anymore, and then I actually have to touch up. That is some, some paint that was removed as a result of me moving the shelf. So I do have to touch the paint up. I think my paint color is gray screen. I know it's by Sharon Williams. I think that's what it is, but I'm going to look it up and I'll have it across the screen if I'm wrong, but I think it's gray screen. But since I have more room here, I think the mirror is better suited against the wall. And that is pretty much how it looks just to kind of pan around the room. I still have my seating area here. I just took, I had a big orange pillow. I took that and just replaced it with a smart pillow. And it looks very clean and minimalistic. So I love the clean minimalistic look. I cleaned my pendant lights. So these are totally clean. They were so dusty. Um, so this is basically how it looks from this angle. This is how it looks basically from this angle. So I'm going to do some more stuff. This is kind of like a part one of the um, undecorating my bedroom because I want to add some sheer curtains. To me, those curtains, they seem a little bit heavy. Um... They seem a little bit heavy, so I want to kind of go with a, I think I want to do some sheer curtains because these curtains, they seem a little bit heavy for the room. So I'm going to do some sheer curtains and I may change out the artwork and go with something maybe a little bit more neutral. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so with a little bit of decor that I have. I'm going to take the Louis Vuitton book. This book is so darn heavy. And I'm going to add it over here. Okay, so I'll place this right here up under one of my nightstands. 
And then I'll add this gold bowl from Z Gallery. I also have this bowl in silver in my downstairs area. This is pretty much how that will look. And for the other side, I think I'm going to... So these actually are some old jewelry boxes that I have from Pier 1. I think I'm going to get rid of these for now. Which one of them is broken. And I'm going to replace it with these. And then... In the meantime, I'll just leave that there. I'll get something different. But in the meantime, in between time, we'll just leave that right there. Because I do have some things that I need to keep there. Okay. So this is how one nightstand looks, which is this is a temporary look. I ordered a box from CB2, so I'll place that there once it comes in. And this is pretty much how the other nightstand looks, and I like that, so I'll keep that there. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I think I'm done for now. As I stated, I am going to possibly look into getting some new artwork, definitely some new curtains coming. I think I'm going to order those today, and... Possibly a new rug. I don't know. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers, of me undecorating my bedroom. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the description box and check out Brooklyn and Staycation Sale. It runs through the end of the month of August. You can save an additional 15% off all of Brooklyn and items. So be sure to click on the link in the description box. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, I hope you have a great week, a great weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.